I did love the Mel Gibson version of what women want. So uh, when I heard Taraji was playing the role that he would have been playing, I'm like, oh, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be interesting. I, I always wanted to work with her. I've known her for many years, but I like this. I like the script. It was very funny when I read it. So I was like, I'm in. It's very interesting to hear the insecurities that men have because, you know, you just look at guys and they're very macho and tough and so cool hanging out. We never think that they're insecure, but this exposes a lot. Mari is a selfish B-I-T-C-H. She's just all about her. She's getting married. And she's one of those women that feels that she, her identity is nothing without a husband. Um, and it takes her best friend, Ali, to let her know that you, you're, you're great with, with or without a man. You know, you can do this. But uh, Mari, she's, she's hell-bent on getting married. And she um, loves her girls. She loves spending time with her girls. But it's about her and her fiancé and the perfect wedding. The lesson that she did learn and the lesson that all of the girlfriends learned through that was you, you need to know your own identity and be comfortable with yourself and be okay being alone. And don't be um, so insecure within yourself that you feel like you have to be with someone to the point you settle. You know, you don't have to settle. You, you can wait for the right person, the right one to come along and, and be really and truly happy, authentically happy. And I think with her, she realized that she wasn't, you know, she was just pushing through because she thought that's what she was supposed to do, which a lot of women are taught that, you know, you're supposed to grow up and get married and have kids. Well, times have changed, you know, you, you can still do all that stuff, but you, you have other things in life that you can achieve as well. And I, I love that about her. That was a great lesson for Mari to learn. Oh my God, I am so excited to be working with Phoebe. I um, first heard about her with her podcast and then I saw the commercials on HBO for Two Dope Queens and I'm like, yes! And then when I found out she was on this movie, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be juicy. I really love her energy. I love working with Wendy. She's so freaking cool and laid back and so funny and I just, all the girls have great spirits, but she she just, oh, she's, she's an animal lover like me. So, you know, that's where we bonded, but I love working with her. We improv so much. I mean, poor Adam. He was like, guys, I, I've got to get at least one good one the way it was written, but he's amazing. Um, I love playing with these girls. They, they are really fun and witty and sharp with whatever. You could throw whatever at them and they'll throw it right back. Sometimes I've been caught off guard, but it's been, I feel like adult summer camp, you know, just fun. <laughs> I love working with Taraji. Um, I respect her even more than I did before coming on this film. Her work ethic is out of this world. She's very serious about her craft. Um, and once she sees that everyone else is in order, then she's like, okay, we can get this, this show on the road. But I absolutely adore her. And I really love her in this character of Ali. Um, she still plays a very strong female character, which I love and she ends up learning a lot through being able to hear what men think and what, what you know what's going on in their head and it teaches Ali some lessons and i really love that we get to see her be funny i mean cookie's funny you know cookie has the best little taglines and the little clapbacks but this is such a great light for taraji um, i think the fans her fans are really going to love seeing her in this because she's freaking hilarious. She's killing it. Her comedic timing is impeccable. Adam's, um, he's fabulous. I'm just going to say that. He's one of the most fabulous directors I've ever worked with. He's super sweet. Um, he's got a nice assistant that works with him. Little furry gray pit bull named Miss Charlie, who is a diva, honey. Um, but they're great to work with. And uh, Adam... He definitely needs to get it the way it's scripted, and I understand because the script is freaking amazing and hilarious. Um, 
but he also allows us to be free. He was like, okay, we got it this way, we got it that way, now just do it. Go, have fun, let go, let loose. And then you feel like you let loose a little bit, and he was like, no, you need to go. Go, girl, just let it all hang out. And you're like, okay, you know, so... He got some some good stuff, and then it kind of got triple X-rated stuff coming out of my mouth, so I had to reel it back in. But Adam is, he's amazing. Such a great person to work with. Ms. Erica Badu plays um, this so-called psychic woman named Sister, and uh, she is hired by, I think, uh, Olivia. Um, who's our Wendy, played by Wendy, um, to come in at the bachelorette party and give us readings. And she's kind of what kicks this whole thing off. Um, but she she's great. I am most excited that audiences continuously laugh throughout. I want them to see um, that we're all funny that we all can have a good time and we want to reel you in there to have a great time with us. I want you to be excited about the entire movie because I, I have to be honest, I've read a million scripts. I've been in this business 20 plus years. That's kind of telling my age, but it's been a long time since I've sat and read a script and was cracking up laughing from start to finish. This is amazing. And then you put the people together with the words that you're reading and you know it's going to be spectacular. So I just really want the audience to be excited about the film overall and be excited about who's all in it because they're going to surprise you a lot. <laughs> hmm, there's so many great minds to read on this set. Whose mind would I want to read? I want to read Taraji's mind because, you know, she's a really good businesswoman. So if I could find out what business plans she has, you know, if she's getting into uh, marketing on Wall Street or she wants to do some investments, then I could read her mind and make the same investments, probably with less money. But, um, you know, we can get paid together, girl, if I could read her mind. 